recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Tuesday, 23rd July 1895 Bhagavad Gita Karma Yoga To attain liberation through work, join yourself to work but without desire, looking for no result. Such work leads to knowledge, which in turn brings emancipation. To give up work before you know, leads to misery. Work done for the self gives no bondage. Neither desire pleasure nor fear pain from work. It is the mind and body that work, not I tell yourself this unceasingly and realize it. Try not to know that you work. Do all as a sacrifice or offering to the Lord. Be in the world, but not of it, like the lotus leaf whose roots are in the mud but which remains always pure. Let your love go to all, whatever they do to you. A blind man cannot see color, so how can we see evil unless it is in us? We compare what we see outside with what we find in ourselves and pronounce judgment accordingly. If we are pure, we cannot see impurity. It may exist, but not for us. See only God in every man, woman and child, see it by the antarjutis, inner light, and seeing that, we can see not else. Do not want this world, because what you desire you get. Seek the Lord and the Lord only. The more power there is, the more bondage, the more fear. How much more afraid and miserable are we than the end? Get out of it all and come to the Lord. Seek the science of the Maker and not that of the mate. I am the doer and the deed. He who can stem the tide of lust and anger is a great yogi. Only by practice and non-attachment can we conquer mind. Our Hindu ancestors sat down and thought on God and morality, and so have we brains to use for the same ends, but in the rush of trying to get gain, we are likely to lose them again. The body has in itself a certain power of curing itself and many things can rouse this curative power into action, such as mental conditions, or medicine, or exercise, etc. As long as we are disturbed by physical conditions, so long we need the help of physical agencies. Not until we have got rid of bondage to the nerves can we disregard them. There is the unconscious mind, but it is below consciousness, which is just one part of the human organism. Philosophy is guesswork about the mind. Religion is based upon sense contact, upon seeing, the only basis of knowledge. What comes in contact with the superconscious mind is fact. Aptas are those who have sensed religion. The proof is that if you follow their method, you too will see. Each science requires its own particular method and instruments. An astronomer cannot show you the rings of Saturn by the aid of all the pots and pans in the kitchen. He needs a telescope. So, to see the great facts of religion, the methods of those who have already seen must be followed. The greater the science, the more varied the means of studying it. Before we came into the world, God provided the means to get out, so all we have to do is to find the means. But do not fight over methods. Look only for realization and choose the best method you can find to suit you. Eat the mangoes and let the rest quarrel over the basket. See Christ, then you will be a Christian. All else is talk, the less talking the better. The message makes the messenger. The Lord makes the temple, not vice versa. Learn until the glory of the Lord shines through your face, as it shone through the face of Shvetketu. Guess against guess makes fight, but talk of what you have been, and no human heart can resist it. All was converted against his will by realization. Tuesday afternoon. After dinner there was a short conversation in the course of which the Swami said, Delusion creates delusion. Delusion creates itself and destroys itself, such is Maya. All knowledge, so-called, being based on Maya, is a vicious circle, 
and in time that very knowledge destroys itself. Let go the rope, delusion cannot touch the Atman. When we lay hold of the rope, identify ourselves with Maya, she has power over us. Let go of it, be the witness only, then you can admire the picture of the universe undisturbed.